This one looks like my old dog. Hey guys, today we are in a rancho de Puebla. We're in a ranch in Mexico. We're here with his family, so I'm meeting all of their family. This is my first time ever being in a rancho. My family is all from like the city, so I'm excited. Let me give you guys the tour of the house. I've never been in a house like this, so it's like something new to me. Like this is the house, and then we have to go outside to go to the bathroom. It's a struggle at night. And then this is our sandals. So you go inside. But over here, you walk over here and then there's another kitchen and that's where everyone eats. This is the living room. This is where we all have fun, play Uno, Monopoly. This is another kitchen. Here's the bedroom. Then we go upstairs. This is the living room. Here's the bedroom where everyone is sleeping in. This is where you get Wi-Fi. So I was up here at night trying to get Wi-Fi. And then this is me and my boyfriend's bedroom. No, they're gonna peck you. I've never seen chickens run. Look at how they run. <laughs> We're gonna go to the store to get some snacks. So basically this trip is just for Ben's family, my boyfriend's family. We're gonna go to one of his auntie's birthdays. We're in Cuenavaca. It's more city vibes. It's so pretty. There's greenery everywhere. I love that because where I'm from, Chihuahua is like more desert. See, and then after, we're gonna go to Alcapulco. But I feel like that should be for my next vlog. Alina, my boyfriend's sister, is over there getting ready. My other boyfriend's little sister, chilling, waiting for us. We're gonna go get our nails done for the quince tomorrow. We came here for a quince. Guys, the way that my pedicure was only $15, not even that, it was like $10. Like for everything, like they give us a little massage, they spoolated our feet. I know back home, they literally charged me $60 for all of that and not even French tip. But look at how cute my toes are. They are literally so so freaking cute. A part of me is always like, mm, should I show my toes? Like I should charge for that psych. But we're all girls here. Anyways, we got an Airbnb just because his grandma's house where I was getting ready and all of that only had one bathroom for like 10 of us and it was just a struggle. We were like, no, you know what? It's just gonna be easier for all of us if we just get an Airbnb for me and him and then his brother is gonna come and join us later on and let me give you guys a little tour. Here we have the fridge and here's the bathroom. I'm so excited to be using this bathroom. We come over here. This is my first time seeing this, but look at the room. So cute and I'm pretty sure literally every TV in Mexico has like Netflix. It's a smart TV now, so I love it. And then here we have our little deck, our little balcony. We have a view of this plant. But we're just gonna hang out now. I don't know what we're gonna do next, but I'll see you guys in the next clip. After traveling for four days now, this is how my maleta looks. I don't know what to wear though. I might just wear this shirt with the jeans that I have on right now. Just because we're going to a movie theater that's inside of a mall that's so pretty. So I want to be like comfortable. This isn't very comfortable because it's like tugging on my back. So this is the fit. So 2000 vibes because of my low waist pants. Or my mid my mid rise pants. But now we have the whole night to do whatever we want. And that's what we want to do. At our grown age, just go watch a movie. We have to walk down these stairs. Guys, we arrived at the mall now. It's so pretty. No one is here because they close at 9. But I think the food closes at like 10. But our movie is at 10. So we're gonna get a little snack and then we're gonna go watch our movie. Huh? Guess 
guess what guys they didn't have the movie in english and the thing is like we know spanish but we don't know like formal formal spanish so i know if we watch one in spanish we won't really get it after we come back from acapulco we're gonna be here for like two days so we have two other days to try again <laughs> i'm looking for something for my little sister she loves like hello kitty and karomi we're gonna get face mask guys i was gonna get my little sister this one because she loves karomi but i found this better one like in your guys's opinion which one is better this one or this one the day of the quince but guess what guys the delicious food that you guys saw of us eating mariscos the shrimp it gave us food poisoning the thing about mexico is that the food is different you really have to have a stronger stomach to be able to process these foods or to stomach these foods that's my boyfriend's mom calling because she's taking us to the doctor we're gonna go to the doctors we're gonna go see what medicine we can get come with us to the doctors in mexico that's where we're going Guys, right now we're on our way to this place that I found. It looks like they have acai bowls and stuff that's light. And I just want a latte. I want something light. I don't want any more homemade food. Just because the homemade food here is like quesadillas. It's quesadillas with chicken and I just cannot like... Right. Our stomach cannot handle it anymore. We're gonna go see what they have. I'm excited! <laughs> Look guys, this is my dress for the 15. I ironed that bad boy, but I need a shower now, so let's go. These are my essentials. Guys, this is the final makeup look. It's very natural, but also I'm not even sure if we're gonna be at the quince for that long because the food poisoning really got my boyfriend. Like when I tell you we were eating raw shrimp, I barely ate any because I was more cautious, but he was eating it more, so I'm pretty sure that's what happened. But yeah, don't eat any raw shrimp when you come to Mexico. But this is the look. And here's the dress. Look at how cute she is. But let's head out. Sail. We haven't been to the centro. Well, we were here this morning, but it was so hot. We left, but we're not here. And it's so pretty. We're all walking to get burgers. That's what I love about Mexico, that you can walk to a lot of places, corner stores, everywhere. Guys, we last minute got a hotel in Cuenavaca City and look at how pretty it is literally giving all the vibes that I want we have French doors right here but we're closing them because we're leaving this is what I love I love the vibe of that the outside is one of the prettiest parts of it all look how pretty this is okay we came to this market called Tres de Mayo it's about 30 minutes away from Cuenavaca and they sell ceramics and wholesale prices so we're gonna see what we can find for my house for my grandma's house whoever's house look at how perfect that looks these are cute they're like salt and pepper shakers these are cute these are so pretty for a plant i wish it was pink i haven't really seen anything pink but i'm looking for pink stuff if you guys come to Mexico, you have to try 